Hello everyone. Did you know that every year around Halloween, millions of pumpkins become the highlight of parties and festivals worldwide? From spooky lanterns to flavor-packed dishes, pumpkins have become an indispensable symbol in America. But few people realize that behind the vibrant pumpkins lies a detailed process of cultivation and care. In the United States, the world's leading pumpkin producer, about 1.3 million tons of pumpkins are harvested annually, and American farms stay busy throughout the harvest season. So, how does a tiny seed grow into a massive pumpkin that can weigh dozens of kilograms? Join me as we visit the largest pumpkin farm in Illinois to uncover the entire fascinating journey from planting and caring to harvesting and processing pumpkins and see why this crop is so incredibly popular. First, the farmer has to select the biggest pumpkin seeds to provide the best nutrients for future crops. These seeds should come from reliable sources to ensure they're high quality and free from pests or diseases. Farmers choose seeds that match their planting goals. Pumpkin plants aren't planted directly in the field. Farmers start by using small soil pots to sow individual seeds, with each pot containing enough fertilizer and nutrients to help the plants grow strong and healthy to a certain stage. Once they reach that point, the plants are then transferred to the main farm. On the main farm, the soil is carefully plowed, loosened, and cleared of weeds before planting. Farmers add organic fertilizer to enrich the soil, making it ideal for growing pumpkins. It's also crucial to ensure the soil has good drainage to prevent water logging, which can cause root rot. After plowing, farmers create raised rows or mounds, which makes it easier to plant and harvest the pumpkins later on. The farmers cover the raised rows with black plastic sheeting, which helps the soil retain moisture and prevents weeds from growing. After the land was prepared, the pumpkins were moved to the farm. They cut round holes in the surface of the plastic sheeting to fit the pumpkin seedlings. Pumpkin plants should be spaced about three feet apart to give them enough room to grow. This process will take a few days to complete. Water the pumpkin plants regularly, making sure the soil stays consistently moist but not waterlogged. Pumpkin plants should be watered early in the morning to avoid water remaining on the leaves at night, which helps reduce the risk of disease. Pumpkin plants typically start to flower about 35 to 55 days after planting. They need increase the amount of water to provide enough moisture for fruit development. Besides water, fertilizer is also essential for pumpkin growth. In the U.S., farmers often use drones or machinery to apply fertilizers to the pumpkin plants efficiently. When the pumpkin plants are still young, focus on using fertilizers high in nitrogen to help promote the growth of leaves and stems. When the plant begins to flower and fruit, switch to a fertilizer rich in phosphorus and potassium to stimulate flower and fruit development. Pumpkins are often attacked by squash bugs, aphids, and powdery mildew, so farmers need to spray pesticides weekly to protect them. 
Pumpkins need pollination from insects like bees to set fruit. To boost the pollination process, you can hand pollinate by using a brush to transfer pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. If pollination is successful, the pumpkin will be ready for harvest in about 80 to 120 days. There are many varieties of pumpkins that have been crossbred, but the two most commonly grown types are sugar pumpkins for cooking and giant pumpkins for decoration. Sugar pumpkins weigh between 4 to 11 pounds and have a thin, bright orange skin. The flesh of the sugar pumpkin is smooth, sweet, and low in fibers, making it perfect for baking, soups, and desserts. This is the most popular type of pumpkin for sweet dishes or recipes that need a rich pumpkin flavor. The giant pumpkin variety is commonly known as the Atlantic Giant, often weighing over 200 pounds, and the largest pumpkin on record weighed 2,702 pounds. They have thick, pale orange skin and aren't usually grown for eating since their flesh is bland and watery. Instead, they're popular for pumpkin festivals, competitions, and impressive fall displays. The pumpkin harvest season in the U.S. typically occurs from late September to November. With the peak harvest time being in October, just in time for Halloween and Thanksgiving. When harvesting large quantities, farms often use pumpkin harvesters. These machines can cut the vines, lift the pumpkins off the ground, and place them onto a conveyor belt for collection. For giant pumpkins, farmers may harvest them by hand to ensure they remain intact. On farms where pumpkins are harvested specifically for their seeds, Modi harvesters are often used to directly extract the seeds. The machine crushes the pumpkin's outer shell, leaving the crushed pulp behind in the field, which helps enrich the soil with organic matter. The smooth pumpkin seeds are directly separated and poured into the bin. That was the method for harvesting pumpkins just for their seeds. Now, here's how to harvest the entire pumpkin. This is the Limac Pumpkin Harvester. With a rolling cage that easily separates the pumpkin from the plant. Pumpkins are neatly stacked in crates for shipment to the factory. The pumpkins are transported to the factory, where they are rinsed with water containing chemicals to remove dirt. The pumpkins are washed again with clean water to ensure that there are no chemical residues.
They label each pumpkin to certify that it has been cleaned and processed by the factory, ensuring that it meets cleanliness and quality standards before reaching consumers. They are sold in supermarkets for around $5 to $10 each. In addition, there is also a factory producing bottled pumpkin juice. In this factory, the pumpkin skin and seeds are discarded and only the flesh is kept for processing. The pumpkins are thoroughly washed, cut into smaller pieces, and then ground into a powder form. The workers vacuum seal the pumpkin powder into bags and then refrigerate them for 12 hours. The automated bottling line can operate with a capacity of 3,000 bottles per day. Pumpkin juice is rich in nutrients such as vitamins A, C, and E, which are great for boosting immunity and eye health. It also contains potassium, magnesium, and dietary fiber, which support heart health and digestion. Additionally, it's low in calories and has antioxidants that help fight inflammation. Additionally, pumpkin seeds are rich in nutrients like magnesium, zinc, and healthy fats that support heart health, improve sleep, and boost immunity. We'll be touring the pumpkin seed packaging factory in Illinois. This machine will sort the pumpkin seeds by size and remove any empty or underdeveloped seeds. The pumpkin seeds then go to the shelling machine, which vibrates up to 1,000 times per minute to easily separate the shell from the seeds. Finally, the pumpkin seeds are packed into bags for storage in the warehouse. The entire video has explained how American farmers harvest millions of tons of giant pumpkins. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support me in creating more helpful videos for you. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.